Hello guys, it's like 8 p.m. I wanted to do outreach tonight um, in Long Beach, downtown Long Beach. I'm just walking around and I wanted to vlog it so you guys can see this guy. I'm gonna be praying for him. I'm gonna ask him what he needs, if he needs anything. So yeah, I went to him and then asked him if he needed prayer or anything. Um, he told me he needed prayer for his health. I prayed for him. He said he felt okay and then he was like, give me a handshake thank, thanking god yeah praise god you know so yeah and i didn't have really a lot of time to talk with him he was trying to cross the light and then the, the light came on you know he had to leave i didn't really have time to talk with him more but he was happy because i prayed for him he said he felt better you know praise god are more people coming i'm gonna be praying for them so yeah you know when you're doing outreach, many people let you talk with them and many people don't let you to, you know? But that's how it is, you know? That's how it is. So yeah, man, when I'm doing outreach and stuff like that, I don't wanna put, I don't wanna put the camera in people's faces, you know? I'm not really comfortable doing that yet, you know? Like when I'm talking with someone to put the phone on their faces, um so yeah i'm trying to like tell you guys what happening and stuff like that i know i'm not showing any video or anything i want to but i'm kind of like you know I, i'm just do i just want to respect people you know i don't want to put the phone on people's faces like you know and then i'm talking to you no i don't want to do that yet but i hope you guys enjoying it hey, guess what um i was i was talking with a guy named omar I shared the gospel card with them and stuff like that. It was really good, it was opening. And I gave him my phone number. And if you he have, have any question or anything, you can shoot me a message. I told him to watch the movie. There's like a movie um, about a guy, it's like a documentary and stuff like that. A guy who was going out, preaching the gospel, the man was casting out. In the documentary, there was a lot of healings. I gave him a card, I gave him I gave him my phone number too, so he was really open, and yeah. So I pray for Omar one now that God gonna reveal Himself to him tonight, you know. And he's been praying to God too, which is really good. So yeah, tonight been great, you know. So just going out, praying for people, planting seed, you know. What's that sound? sound like a catholic church or anything but it's a wall green so yeah yeah it's been great you know so just sharing about jesus about the good news about the gospel about the kingdom of god all those things thank god you know man there's that guy i was talking with and then i i went to him i asked him if he needed prayer for anything he was like, no, he's good. And he started talking with me how he believed in God. And he was saying like the God he believed in, understand him. And he understand the way God is. And then he was, tell he was telling me how he's like, yeah, he was telling me how he's like homosexual. It's like, he's like gay. And he was saying like, he was born like that. I'm like, what do you mean you were born like that? I mean, I was like, that's why you need to be born again into Christ. And then he started getting mad at me for some reason. I don't even know, know why he started like cursing at me. I'm like, you need to do this, kiss that, kiss that. I'm like, what? You know, I, I wasn't mad at you for like, for, for, for being the way you are. You said like, God, accept you the way you are, which is not you being deceived by the devil. You don't, you don't know your identity. You know what I mean? So he was mad at me, but I was being cool with him. I'm like, I'm just telling you the truth. That's how it is. Like the truth hurts people, but that's how it is. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. You know, like if if, if you believe in the same God I believe in, why why you why are you doing all those things? You know. So yeah, it's been good though. Man, that's crazy. You see that lady over there? Yo. <laughs> something just happened um you see that lady i showed you like 
that's kind of dangerous. Oh. What happened? She's still, she's telling me to get away from him, from her, for some reason. I'm like, what? Like she's wanting, like she's wanting from me for some reason. That's crazy. Like I was walking and then she was like, she started calling me Lucifer. You can hear her talking. Like she was calling me Lucifer for some reason. And she was like, all those things that I'm doing right now, I'm doing it for no reason. You know what I mean? It's like, why? That's crazy. She was running for me. Like, you know? But, yeah. Welcome to LA. It's LA, you know? So, and it's crazy. It's been good. So, thank God, you know? I thank God. So, Thank you, Jesus. Um, you know, when I'm going to go back, I'm going to go talk with her again, you know. Looks like she needs some prayer. She looks like some freedom. Even right now, you can still hear her talking. Um, yeah, it's crazy. You know, it's my first time seeing people like that. And she was telling me to go back to Africa for some reason. I'm like, what? I don't belong here. I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> Man. Long Beach Terrace Theater. It used, it used to be really nice here. Um, for December, there was a big tree. Like a big like um, Christmas tree over there. It was really good. I like it. It's pretty nice. It's like we like in downtown Long Beach right now. Um, yeah, I kind of like walk almost half miles, I guess, to come here. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I never been inside of here. I know, I know it's a theater, but I think it would be nice to go inside, you know. And I think it's closed right now. I've seen a lot of picture about it, you know, but I mean, I want to know what they do inside. I know it's a theater, but what kind of thing they do, you know, um, if that makes sense, you know, um, yeah. Look at the water. Everything changed. They changed everything. When I first came in California, none of those things was over there. I came in California in November. And then the first time I visited here, none of those things. It was like really dirty and now it's really different. Look at over there. And over there, there is the pike, Long Beach, like the main downtown is over there. I want to go to Outreach one day over there. I'm trying to bring everyone in California to go to Outreach. Every disciple, you know, there are a lot of disciples in in California, I was thinking like if we can go to LA, downtown LA, just try to take over everything. Like, you know, tell people about Jesus, take over everything for Jesus, you know? I think it would be nice if everybody go to in one place, in one place, you know? And then make a big explosion, you know, telling people about Jesus, you know? and yeah i think it would be great you know trying to put everybody together so we can make an explosion like i said so if that makes sense so yeah look at those big building over there man i don't know if i want to leave any building like that but it would be nice but yeah we're staying crazy so now I'm gonna go walk. I'm gonna go walk back to the house. So, you know, it's, it's, I did one mile. So I'm gonna go back to, toward the house. So I'm still gonna be doing outreach still too, you know, on my way back. 
So, you know, it's pretty, you know. I just make a U turn and then go back. So, praise God, it's been great. It's been really good, you know. Just sharing things with people, praying for people. And the first guy I pray for, he received healing. He said, but I believe it. Um, thank you, Jesus. And yeah, so it's really good, you know, trying to plant seed. I went to talk with that lady again. When I was walking past her, I asked her if, she, if I can pray for her. She was like, no, nah, my prayer cannot do anything for her. I'm like, I was like, Jesus can do something for you. And then she was like, go, go, go. Um, none of your thing, your church cannot do anything for me. I was like, I don't go to church, you know what I mean? If you have religion hurts, like Jesus can heal you or anything. But I don't think her mind was there, but she's kind of like, you know, um, well, I pray you know so yeah she wanted me to leave her alone so i was like okay let me just go I'm on my way back right now no one walking in front of me there's no one in front of me or even in back of me like it's crazy it's getting late though it's kind of like um it's like 9 28 i don't know if you guys are able to see it it's like 9 28 right now and yeah downtown long beach so yeah praise god i'm walking to this side now it's empty right now i might change position i might go to the, the to the other side the last part it was good you know where where i started walking it was good it was better you know a lot of people was walking there even right now there's no one but i'm still gonna switch spot so yeah hey guys it's time to go back to the house you know an hour later it's been good you know thank god and thank you guys for watching this video um i hope the video kind of encourage you guys to do outreach more you know and it's encouraging me, me too you know so thank you guys for watching have a good night good morning you know have a good day so it's gonna be a night for me so see you guys in the next video boom